This is my modified Benchmade 940 in the Critter Scales by Rock Scale Designs. So this is how it looks fully installed. And I've been carrying this knife every day for the last six months. And I've, I've loved it. The Critter Scales is, uh, I believe, Cerakoted in gray. And if uh, you look at the wear, there's not too much wear, but at the same time, I want that wear because it'll look great. Um, the backspacer, which was a bronze um, anodizing, um, it's kind of worn, worn off now. You can see it more in the uh, screws, the screw heads. It was also bronze anodized, but um, it's coming off. I, I'm going to have to do it again. Uh, this clip in the back, this was uh, made by Blade for Cell on Etsy, and it's a deep carry Benchmade clip. And I really like the style of it. And it was Cerakoted in the color Midnight Bronze. But you can see that after carrying it right here at the edges, that the Cerakote's coming off. And, uh, you know, that makes sense since I, I use this every day for work. I do remodels, I do construction, and I use this, you know, to cut things that won't really destroy the blade. I have a utility knife for things that I really want to you know, that are really bad to cut into, but for like, if I want to open boxes, I want to, like this last time I used this to cut through, I, I, I was uh, opening a door jam and uh, I had to cut some wood off so that it would, it would fit perfect and this was perfect to do so. Um, I used this edge right here to pry open uh, uh, paint cans. I don't use the tip, use this flat part. You know, so there's a lot of things you can do. I use like there was a there was a hole for a doorknob that the to install the uh, this part of the doorknob into it was the hole was too small, so I stuck it in and I was like going in and out like that to make the hole bigger. And I've sharpened this back to 20, 20 degrees per side, and it's been great. It's really it's really sharp. The edge, even going through a bunch of cardboard, and cardboard is abrasive. It's been working really well. So, you know, as for the scales, oh, uh, you see right here the where the pocket goes in. There's a little bit of wear from the color, but it's it's pretty light. Um, the Cerakote they did here was pretty good. It's uh it's not too thick, you know, compared to this clip. You know, it kind of chips off like paint, but the on the scales it doesn't really do that. So it looks great, and. Um, I've removed the thumb stud just because uh, when I was cutting through things, you know, sometimes the thumb stud would get in the way. So I'm just trying trying it without it to see how I like it, but I might put it back because um, uh, I, do, I do like flicking it open with thumb stud once in a while, but really I do like to use the axis lock more. So this one was the M4 version of the uh, 940, and it came with black Cerakote, but now you notice it's off. It's because I sent this in to BGM Knives. Um, you can find them on Instagram. They did a regrind for me. So what happened is the 940, it, it, it's a it's a saber grind, right? There is this part that's hollow. It, it, it's it's straight, you know. When you when you have when you buy the knife originally, it's a straight grind. But BGM, they did a really nice hollow grind. So I don't know if the camera can show it, but like. It's concave, you know, it's concaved in right here so that at the edge, it's really thin, but at back here, it's still thick. It's still pretty thick. They also modified the sway, the swedge right here for me. So it would look nice, but like, you know, this, this knife has been through a lot. You see, it's all dirty and stuff right now. And I carry it in my pocket even when I'm super sweaty. So you know, M4 is not a stainless steel. So you can see, I hope maybe you can see in the blade, there's a little bit of rust, surface rust up here on top right here. There's a little bit down here. I am sure you can see that one right there reflecting off a little bit of rust. So if if you oiled this with some mineral oil, I'm sure this would, you know, you wouldn't have any. But um, I'm carrying this every day. I'm super sweaty. It's uh, when I'm working, you know, these last few weeks, it's been 90, 95 degrees. And this has just been sitting in my pocket perfectly. And I, and 
it's so reliable. Uh, I just feel so comfortable with it in my pocket, and it fits so good in the hand. Now the this clip, this clip is okay. Deep carry clips, you know, it sticks out. It gets a hot spot right here when you're holding it. But um, I think in the future I might switch to a, a milled clip, so that it's uh, it'll, it'll, it won't be deep carry. But it'll be, you know, kind of like rounded over a little bit, so it'll feel better when I'm holding it really tight. But right now, it's, you know, it's not too bad either. And I'm just using it for a little bit. I pull it out of my, I pull it out of my pocket, then I flip it open, I cut, and I flip it closed, and I put it away. So that's pretty much uh, how I use mine. And the scales, they they look great, and I can't wait until they wear in. You know, for the edges to start like getting silver and then the middle still gray, uh, that'll look great. And with concerning the rust, you know, I'm going to clean it off either you in the future if you, well, if you have a Cerakoted blade, you're not going to have to worry about it. But since BGM Knives did the hollow grind for me, which I love, it cuts really well. Cardboard and thick cardboard, it just goes through it like the laser beam. And, uh, I think I'm going to force patina this with, uh, um, I forget what kind of acid, but there's a lot of videos online on how to do it, and I think I'm going to do that. So that it'll be a black bit blade again. The coating is not going to be as durable, but hopefully it'll protect it a little bit more from the from the um, rust. But, you know, it's, it's a tool. It's meant to be used. If I took care of it a little bit more, you know, use mineral oil on it like every other day, I'm sure it'd be fine. And M4, it just it just keeps going. And it was pretty easy to sharpen too. I used the Lansky sharpening set. Um, the Lansky sharpening system with uh, one, one diamond stone and then the rest are the regular stones. I was able to sharpen it pretty nice. So, uh, so far I'm, I'm really happy owning this knife. I don't know if I'm gonna get any other knife just cause this knife, new i got on sale was 150 dollars and then after that the scales are another maybe a hundred dollars the clips are another 25 dollars so you know at the end this knife is like a 350 dollar knife and um i'm glad i i'm glad i really enjoy the design you know if i if they had the mollusk design the rounded one I thought about getting that one too, but um, I knew that this was just going to be in my pocket more than it being used in my hand. So I wanted it to be flat, and this, this when it's in my pocket, it feels like it disappears in my pocket. I'm sure the original scales too would disappear in my pocket, but it's just that I want a nicer design. This is going to be my, my first really expensive knife, and I want to I wanna treat myself, you know? All right. Well, um, that's update for my EDC knife, um, and I hope you all enjoy. Thanks.